7.43. The Radio Whammo Breakfast. The voice of the creative economy. With Vincent Herringer. Yeah, talking um, creative economy. Today talking about the Innovators Awards, in fact. Uh, Vincent, good morning. Good morning, Whammo. Yeah, the Innovators Awards. Is this a new, brand new um, awards? It is indeed. It's sort of, it, it's brand new and, and kind of not. So first of all, welcome back. Oh, thank you. Back from Japan. Yeah, um, good time. I'm wearing, um, for those of the, on the uh, live video stream this morning, a Japanese T-shirt. It's an anime T-shirt. Excellent. Um, which seemed to um, garner a lot of um, giggles from... I did it. ...from Japanese girls when I was wearing it. I got this... In, we, we've had a few Japanese um, students stay with us over the years, and they giggle a lot. <laughs> Don't they just? But it always seems to be, oh, it's at my expense, I'm sure of it. Yeah, you know? I'm sure it is too. I'm sure that they regard us as complete Philistines. I mean, we put brown sugar with our rice for one thing. Yeah, that's right. And, and I, I, I bought another T-shirt as well. I'll wear it, I'll wear, I'll wear it perhaps, perhaps next week on the, um, on the video stream. But uh, apparently it's a, it's a well-known brand of pork cutlet. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Indeed. All right, innovators. Yeah, now speaking of... Um, Japanese innovators. The, the, the Japanese are um, they're very good at innovating, aren't they? They're very good, actually, at perfecting other people's inventions. And um, there's a real difference between being an inventor and a tinkerer and being an innovator. Mm. And the difference is that innovation is like the, the whole shebang. It actually turns your ingenuity and your tinkering into an actual product or a service or you know something that... Um, is a sustainable or life-changing product. And the, the difference for New Zealand is that we are really good at that first part and we're pretty crap at that last part. So we have a history of inventing and creating and tinkering and you know the number eight wire thing is uh, in our DNA. In fact, there's, but, but the, you know, the, the second part of the equation, Wemo, is turning it into a sustainable product or service that you know, will actually go on and change the world. Less good at that. Yeah. In fact, there are so many examples of kind of lovable failures that um, to Radar has made a whole stage show about it. I don't know if you've yeah. ever seen it. I have show. seen it. Yeah, it's brilliant. It's hilarious, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, it's kind of hilarious and tragic, but, you know, that's that's the New Zealand story of innovation. That we, You know, we're really good at the first bit and, and not so good at the second. Mm. And so... One of my motivations for a long time with Ideologue has been to um, to do a couple of things. One is to celebrate that whole spirit of invention and ingenuity because it's really unique and it's valuable um, and we're losing it and we want to celebrate it. Mm. But I also want to celebrate the people who have then gone on and actually commercialised it and made it into something that gets beyond themselves. You mm. know, because the problem with um, with tinkering in your garage is, you know, ultimately when 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 you go, uh, the product goes with you. Whereas if you can create a business, uh, the, your invention will live, you know, way beyond. And, and there's some really nice examples of this, Wemo. The um, I, I didn't realise, but the um, my son was telling me the other day the the inventor of the light bulb. Do you know who that is? Um, it was Ed. It was Edison. Did Edison do the light bulb? Exactly. I would have said that too. Yeah. And, and you know, I'm sure ninety nine percent of us would say that. In fact it was an Englishman called Alfred Russell Humphreys. Hold the horses. Yeah. There you go. Well wait, how how did that come about? Well he invented it but um and he um and someone else patented it, but uh, Edison bought the patent oh. and um, and perfected it. Huh. And then got all the glory. Got all the glory and got a lot of money. Yeah. I mean G- General Electric was his company. And he did, um, you know, he, he was n- notorious for taking ideas and perfecting them, um, a- as the Japanese are. You know, they're not necessarily the great inventors, but they are the great perfectors. So the innovation awards, I suppose, really are our attempt to capture some of that and also urge people along to um, to not finish at, at the garage, but to carry on and, and actually create products and services. And and so you um, so ideologues behind this and and there's a statement on the website um, innovators.org.nz that says you guys are the innovator explorers. Yeah, you like that? Explain. <laughs> it comes yes. from a branding Fine. agency. Yeah. Oh, right. Okay. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> 
<laughs> exploring well, the we world. We ask ourselves, you know, what's our role in in all of this? Yeah. Because we we aren't necessarily scientists or creative people. You know, I'm a reporter. I like to report what people have have said. And, yeah. Um, so our, our job is to go out into the country and uncover and discover the innovators yeah. that exist and drag them out. You know, so often they are not. They don't put themselves forward. You know, they're often not self-promoters. No. And, you know, again, that's a very, that's a very Kiwi thing. Um, and, and so, you know, perhaps one of my jobs, my, one of my contributions to this conundrum is to use my talents or the outlet in the media that I have for exploring and celebrating these people. And you've got um, the various categories, um, health and science, design and engineering, environment and agriculture, information and communications technology, manufacturing and marketing and communications. Yes, really important that innovation is seen across the, the disciplines. You know, often innovation is seen as a research and development thing, which you know, it, it, it can be, but it doesn't have to be. And, um, I love the story of Lucasaid, which was the English health tonic that was really struggling to grow its sales. Uh, have I ever told you the story? No. I'm in danger of repeating myself. I don't think so. Well, they took the, the owners of Lucasaid, which I think was Smith and Nephew, um, they changed the label and put a screw cap on the bottle. Bingo. And, it, and bingo. It, they absolutely transformed the sales of it. But more than that, they launched a whole new category called energy drinks which obviously we know now is Red Bull and and so on, V and Mother and so on. Chronic. <clears throat> yeah, on, they, on and on they go. <laughs> I mean, I'm not saying that that necessarily was a good thing, but it was a smart <laughs> business move. Yeah. A- and, you know, that was not a huge R&D exercise. That was someone, um, I suppose, a low-level innovation of mm. saying, hey, if we change the bottle and the label, we could create a new product or a new category. Mm. And so innovation doesn't have to be out of the labs. It can be, it can be in, in branding and, and marketing. It could be uh, on the farm. It could be new ways of doing things. The, mm. the point is it's about novelty and then about commercialising that novelty. Okay, when do um, entries close? Uh, August 12th. So yep. we're out hunting now. It's, it's really easy to enter, Wemo. Uh, the, the website is innovators.org.nz. Yep. Um, and there's an online entry form. We will be nice to you. You're, um, you'll be treated seriously. We've got a, a collection of about um, 20 judges from a whole range of disciplines, academics, branding people, lawyers, accountants, a whole bunch of people who will assess your entry, whether you're an individual or a company or a team. And will there be a glamorous award ceremony? Oh, we hope so. Just need some sponsors. About that. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, we, we certainly hope so. Yeah. And uh, the partners, not just Ideologue doing this, Bayer, the big German healthcare company, mm-hmm. listen to this Bayer, the German healthcare company, are spending 15 billion euros, that's a, with a B. Yeah, on? Not, not on us. <laughs> just a fraction would you, do. No. You'd be, um, a bit, you'd be bigger than Fonterra, probably. <laughs> Well, that's, that's a third of the size of New Zealand. Oh, no, it's not a third. Yeah. But um, in the next three years, just three years, they're spending $15 billion on R&D mm. and innovation mm. projects. Anyway, so yeah. they got a bit of coin. Anyway, they're, they're, um, they are a partner. And so is a, um, a consultancy called Ideas Accelerator. Mm. It's kind of a three-way partnership. Cool. And um, I'd like to report more, but today we're open for entry. So... Um, innovators.org.nz please go. Thanks Vincent. Thanks Wemo. Cheers. And you can hear from more from Vincent at idealog.co.nz